Brad McCullough here. I've had several videos. We've talked a lot about maintenance and asset performance and things. I had some requests and some questions about leadership. So I thought I'd just put together a few tips, a little series of, of leadership tips. And I wanted to start with managing team conflict. So I put together an eight step process to talk about how we manage uh, team conflict. So first of all, as a, leader, as a leader of an organization, as a team, um, specifically maintenance teams that, where there's a lot of creative work and a lot of moving parts, it's real important that you have two main goals. One, that the team understands the purpose and the mission and that they're committed to that. And two, that you create a work environment that's, that's friendly and cooperative and that the team can uh, feel comfortable and attack the problems of the day. So when you find out that there's a problem in the field and there's something that needs to be done, um, here's some steps that, that I recommend that you take specifically when emotions are high. First of all, step one, set up individual meetings with the people. Get them, you want to go one-on-one. -on -one. So if it's a small problem, maybe this isn't the case, but when they're emotional problems that are affecting team performance and, and they're not in line with the purpose, it's, uh, it's important that you sit people down. Share what you know, step two, what you know in this meeting with the individuals. Share what you know, what you've heard, and how you believe this is impacting the team and the purpose. And make sure, I mean, everyone's committed to the purpose of the team, whatever that, whatever that is. Explain your goals. Your goal is to support the mission or the purpose of the team, hit the business goals, but also create an environment that's friendly, that's safe, and that people can do their work and, and focus on the challenges of the day and not be distracted with all kinds of negative emotion. Ask for their perspective. This is important. Part of the respect and trust thing. Have them talk to you. Take notes. Don't interrupt. Let them talk about what's going on and how they feel about what's going on. Ask for a solution. What do they think we need to do to get past this? To get the, make sure the team's on track and that it's working. It's real important. You write this down. You're going to do this with all the components of the, the challenge. So you, you're going to take notes. You're going to get a lot of ideas about their perspectives as well as potential solutions. And then ask for their commitment. And then individually ask for their commitment to solve it. Do they really want to solve it? Do they believe they can get past it if certain things take place? It's real important. And then we're going to bring everybody together. You reestablish re um, what the purpose is, what you're trying to accomplish with the team, and why... Uh, people need to be committed to the mission or the purpose of the team, as well as making this a friendly environment. If people can't commit to that, they're not willing to work to that, then you may need another recourse or another action. Talk it out, and then get the team to agree on a solution. Ask for them to commit to it, and get everybody in the room, one, two people, whatever it is, to agree. And then uh, go back to work, but then as a leader, follow up. Right? Follow up. Now, Sometimes it's really hard. People, uh, managers don't want to get involved in little conflicts. Uh, maybe they don't think it's a big deal. Time will heal. They let things go. As a, as a leader, the emotional well-being and the environment that you're putting your employees in so they can do the very best job they can and be the best they can be is your responsibility. You are in charge of the people who work for you to do the job. Leaders make sure that they're focused on the mission, they've got the tools, training they need, but also that emotionally they're in the right frame of mind and they can do a job safely and effectively and drive continuous improvement. Those are just my tips. I uh, hope they help. Uh, love your feedback. Thanks and look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day.